What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about discreetly stacking silver, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos. The link will be in the description. And if you want to help support by getting some DYDSS merchandise, we got t-shirts and hoodies, a bunch of gear that has been up for grabs, but we just brought back the stack and don't look back t-shirt and hoodie available in both silver and gold, as well as the DYDSS maple, which was obviously inspired by the Canadian maple leaf. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today I wanted to talk about something a little bit different. And the reason for that is because I've noticed over the last, I would say, week and a half, maybe two weeks, I've been getting a number of comments on my videos from people talking about some of the repercussions or consequences that they have experienced after sharing the fact that they stack silver with their friends or their family members or their coworkers or whatever the case may be. And I wanted to make a video responding to some of the comments and some of the concerns. Now, first and foremost, as I have said in videos in the past, I personally do not believe it's anyone's business that you're stacking silver, that you're stacking gold, that you have, you know, a bunch of cash locked away in a safe or you got, you know, a mountain of precious metals hidden in your house somewhere. I don't believe it's anybody's business. I do not believe that many people out there would share how many dollars they have in the bank, so why would you tell people how many ounces you have in your safe? That's the way I see it. That is the way I have always seen it. At the end of the day, silver is money, and it's really nobody's business that you save your money, that you spend your money, that you invest your money. It's not anybody's business what you do with your money. So... In my opinion, from my perspective, and from my own personal experience, I don't think it's all that good of an idea to tell people that you have any silver at all. They don't need to know. However, one thing I would like to say is that you don't necessarily need to go the rest of your life living with this silver secret I don't believe that anybody necessarily needs to know. However, obviously, if you have a, you know, a husband, wife, or whatever, it's probably a bad idea to keep it a secret from them. You know, making financial decisions behind your spouse's back might not be the smartest move. Sounds like a good way of getting a broken nose. But I think if you get your husband or wife on board, if you can show them that it's merely a way of saving money, really not much different than stacking up dollar bills hidden in a safe in the basement or the garage or something like that. It's not very different, however it is, because the dollar, clearly the US dollar is losing purchasing power every minute of every day. The dollar bill is on a slow but steady decline. It's backed by nothing at this point. And with inflation and all of the situations at hand, it's becoming weaker and weaker. While silver is doing a pretty good job holding its value, not to mention its upward trajectory. Sure, it goes up and down and up and down and up and down, but... I see it going more up than anything else. Three steps up, two steps down. Two steps up, one step down. Four steps up, two steps down. So overall, I see an upward trajectory. And I wouldn't be mad if it were to stay where it's at or right around where it's at for the next couple of years or the next five to ten years so I can get as much of it as I can but I believe in keeping it discreet. Hence the merchandise. I have silver and gold, precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies that are up for grabs. Do they say, I have a whole bunch of valuable metals hidden in my house somewhere? No. 
One says stack and don't look back. The average person might not know what that even means or understand it. And like, oh, okay, that's probably from a show or something. Which I guess you could view my YouTube channel as a show, I guess, in a weird way. And the other one is just a, a mere maple leaf. I designed it that way on purpose. It's a way for people to support the channel. It's a way for people to rock some merchandise. A lot of people who have already ordered them have told me. It's pretty cool. feels like they're part of the club, which is awesome. It's one of the main intents. But it's also discreet. Nobody necessarily knows what it means. So even though you're rocking a t-shirt or a hoodie with some precious metal reference on it, it's not overly in your face to the average person out there. person in a grocery store is not going to look at you and be like, oh my god, that guy has a bunch of gold in his house. I'm going to follow him home. It's discreet, but it's still there. Hidden in plain sight in a way. And that's kind of how I like to keep it. Not even merchandise related. I'm talking about while talking to people. There have been times where I have had conversations with people who I don't necessarily know very well or trust. I have no reason to trust them. I was very vague about it. I like to say that, you know, throw some bait out there, see if they bite. I've mentioned to a couple friends, a couple family members, a couple people that I work with in the past. I would ask him about collecting. I just say, hey, this is kind of a weird question. Growing up, did you ever collect anything? Baseball cards, shot glasses, snow globes, I don't know. Maybe, maybe stamps, maybe coins. And then I could talk about how maybe, I don't know, I could say, hey, my friend's uncle or something, has this coin collection. I was, you know, he was showing me some coins. I thought it was pretty cool. Some people actually get the coins as a way of saving money. Or at the very least, maybe you could just pick up a different coin from different places, learn a little bit about history, learn a little bit about different cultures. It's a cool way of learning. Really small, tight-knit community. They got coin shows sometimes. They get together, they hang out, they talk about and show each other different coins and whatnot. It's pretty cool. And then you could see what their response is. It's not something you're doing. It's something you observe somebody else do and talked about. Who knows? Maybe they'll turn around and be like, I have a coin collection myself. And then you'll have something in common. You'll have something to talk about. Now you don't got to be like, hey, y hey, you know what? Secretly me too. I got $25,000 worth of silver and gold in my house. Like you don't have to go all in, but it's something to talk about. Maybe the next day at work or the next day in class or whatever. Maybe you could bring a coin and be like, hey, this is one that I got from wherever and you could talk about it or whatever. But overall, I think it's probably the smartest and the safest idea to keep it low key, to keep it discreet, to keep it pretty much a secret. But you don't have to hide it. Maybe you could talk about it from time to time. We're all stacking silver and gold over here. It's something that we like to talk about. It's why I make videos about it every single day, 365 days a year. I genuinely enjoy talking about it. And it's incredibly difficult not to talk about it with more people. It's incredibly difficult not to talk about it at the cash with the cashier at the grocery store. Bring up, hey, how you doing? Stack any silver coins? It's something that I want to do, but I can't do. But it is fun to talk about, so maybe this video will help somebody else out there. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe for new videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also, make sure to subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. We got three new silver and gold themed vlog style videos, a hidden camera pawn shop integrity test, and the brand new mini safe lockbox product review. 
Go check them out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. We got t-shirts and hoodies, a bunch of gear that's raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. But we just brought back the Stack and Don't Look Back t-shirt and hoodie available in both silver and gold, depending on your preference, as well as dropping the brand new DYDSS maple, which was obviously inspired by the Canadian silver and gold maple. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments how many people have you had conversations with in real life. I'm not talking about in the YouTube comment section. How many people have you spoken to about silver? Now, you don't got to count them, but, you know, maybe two, three family members, maybe a friend or two, maybe a co-worker, maybe you've told a bunch of people over the years. Let me know in the comment section down below as well as do you think it should be kept a secret. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you just that smiling. Peace!